Hello, everyone. Welcome. In this video, we will begin to look at the multiple choice questions in the Java textbook. Now, if you go to the Pearson website, it's a Pearson hi8.com slash Leon, you can select Introduction to Java Programming Comprehensive 12. So this is the um, Java and Data Structures 12th edition. From here, we get into this. Here is Data Structures and Programming and Data Structures Comprehensive 12th edition. And this is the um, multiple choice questions, student self test questions. Today, we're gonna to look at chapter one, self test questions. I'm gonna go over all these questions. So I'm gonna select the uh, answers and for each question. So please note that the, uh, the answers uh, may not be correct. So we're gonna verify it and after we finish it, so we're gonna click this button, check answer for all questions. So the first one, and what is the physical aspect of the computer that can be seen? So that's, hardware. Now this is in section 1.2. So please refer to section 1.2 if you're not sure of the answer. And you can read the, the section and to confirm your answer. The next question. So what is the brain of a computer? That's CPU. The speed of the CPU may be measured in, so that is in either megahertz or gigahertz. So this is the, uh, in the uh, modern computer, they're very fast. So we measure it in gigahertz. So that is the, uh, the speed of, of CPU. The next question, why do computers use zeros and ones? So which one is the correct choice? Because combinations of zero and ones can represent any numbers and characters because digital devices have two stable states and it is natural to use one state for zero and the other for one. So this is the correct answer. So again, um, so please read this section to confirm your selection. One byte has, so eight bits. One gigabyte is approximately one billion bytes. Memory, a program and its data must be moved into computers what before they can be executed by CPU. Now computers memory. Now again, I'm just making all the selections. Um, the answer may not be correct and we're gonna check it after we finish all of this. The next question, a computers, what is volatile? memory. Which of the uh, following are storage devices? Uh, portable disk, yes, and hard disk, and flash stick, and CD-ROM. So all of this are the uh, storage devices. What specifies the number of pixels in horizontal and vertical dimensions of the display devices? 
it's this, it's the, uh, um, the screen resolution. The next question, what is the, uh, what is the device to connect a computer to a local area network that is called this network interface card? What are instructions to computers? Software, programs. Computer can execute the code in machine language. All the other languages you have to convert it into machine language, assembly, high level language. So that's the correct choice I think should be A. So we're gonna check the answer later. And so what translates high language program into machine language program? And this is the uh, uh, compiler. So which of this is an operating system? Uh, Windows. So there's this Java, C++, Visual Basic, Ada, these are the programming languages. So what is the program that runs on a computer to manage and control a computer's activities? And that's operating systems. Due to security reasons, Java, so used to be Java applets, very popular, but the Java applets are not allowed to due to security reasons. And which of this is not an object oriented programming language? Java, C++, C. Which language is interpreted? Java is interpreted. And which is uh, architecture neutral? Java is architecture neutral. It can run um, all platforms, um, Unix, on Windows, and um, other platforms. The Java language specification, so which here is, uh, um, what is the technical definition of the language that includes the syntax and semantics of the Java uh, program language? It's the Java uh, language uh, specification. Syntax and semantics. Um, so here, the next question contains predefined classes and interfaces for developing Java programs. And this is Java API. Now, what consists of a set of separate programs for developing and testing Java programs, each of which is invoked from a command line? It's the, the uh, Java JDK. Java development toolkit. So what provides an integrated development environment for rapidly developing Java programs, editing, compiling, building, debugging, and online help are integrated in one graphic user interface. It's the Java IDE. The main method header is written as, so this is incorrect misspelled and this is okay. So this one should be fine. Now look this public static void. So this is not main is misspelled. So this is main. So here public static main stream static missing void public uh, missing static. So this is a C. Which of the following statements is correct? Every line in a program must end with a semicolon. Not true, it's every statement in a program must end with a semicolon. Which of the following statements is correct to display welcome to Java on the console? So this should be double quotation marks. And this looks fine, so I'm gonna select it. 
and this is single quotation marks, single quotation marks, and this is a single. So this is B is correct. What is the output of the foreign code? So this is a string. And then this is all the numbers that together six. So here is A. Creating, compiling and executing a Java program, the JDK command is just uh, compile a class, not run. In the file test.java is, so what command we should use when we just compile it? And this is the one. Which JD command is correct to run a Java application in bytecode.class? So this is the one. Java compiler translates Java source code into Java bytecode. Java virtual machine is software that interprets Java bytecode. That is correct. Suppose you define a Java class as follows. The source code should be starting a file named. So this is the public class test. So this should be D. The extension name of a Java bytecode file is dot class. The extension name of a Java source code file is dot Java. Which of the foreign lines is not a Java comment? Now this is, and this is also, and this is not. And this is okay. So this two are uh, not Java, correct Java comment. Which of the foreign are the reserved words? So they're reserved words public, static, void, class, they're all reserved. Every statement in Java ends with a semicolon. A block is enclosed inside presses. Program style is important because a program may not compile if it has bad style, no. Good program style can make a program run fast, no. Good program style makes a program more readable, yes. Good program style helps reduce program errors. True. Analyze the foreign code. And so this right here, and this is another one here. Now they look all the same here. Let's see, uh, both one and two can compile and run and display welcome to Java, but code in two, has a better style than one? No. And this not indented right. Um, only the code in one can compile and run and then display welcome to Java. No. Only the code in two can compile and run and display welcome to Java. No. So here, both one and two can compile and run and display welcome to Java but the code in one has a better style than two. That's correct. Which of the foreign code has the best style? Now this is not indented correctly, and this is not, and this is not here, and this one here, the last one. A Program compiles fine, but it produces incorrect result. Then the program suffers. Compiles fine, uh, produces incorrect result. It's a logical error. The foreign code has, so this is missing the closing parenthesis, so it has a compile error. The foreign code has, so this one here, is the uh, right here is um, so here s should be uppercase so it has a compiler 
All right, so we have done all of this. And now let's see if we get this correct and check answer for all questions. All right, so all the questions are answered correctly. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we look at uh, chapter two, multiple choice questions.